I'm in a Coleman 202 RD Dutchman. A lot of different things it's called, but uh, the TV was mounted there, and I don't like it. it blocks the stereo. Uh, it, it's not a good spot for the guys sitting on the couch. This unit has the uh, the table and the couch, and pretty much that guy where the box is sitting there is the only one that can see it comfortably. So what I've done is I'm going to mount it here, and by doing that, it should let the guys on the couch be able to see, and uh, we like to play some video games and stuff, so that will keep us in line with the TV and make, you know, accept the uh, console on the table down here or whatever I want to do. So the problem that we have, though, is that this ultralight is, it doesn't have much stability, and so this panel uh, right here is less than a quarter inch thick. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's just for show. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out. I'm going to reinforce it. I'm going to mount the TV there. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, pull the stereo out. I'm going to put in a brand new uh, Jensen. I'm uh, not sure on the brand right now. <coughs> and um, we're going to rewire in some new speakers. I've already started that. And we're going to redo the outside speakers. Uh, all those things are coming up and uh, I'll give you a step-by-step -step process. Uh, first thing, got to take this panel out. Uh, it wasn't too hard, just pushing on it. Uh, eventually the staples popped out uh, and then it slides out. So 14 and a half by 14 and a half on my camper and that's an important number to keep uh, because you're gonna have to cut out some plywood for that. When you pop this out, you need to take the staples out of the back of here, all right? And oh, one thing you're gonna need always is a mirror, all right? Just don't fight it, go get it. You can set it back there, you can see what you're doing, all right? Um, I got some other little wiring projects going on at the same time, so excuse the mess. Now, what I did is I got a 15 by 15 inch square of half inch plywood, and I'm going to screw it in the back of there. I got some fender washers to distribute the load on the uh, all throughout the wood there as I'm mounting it. And then in the back, which I'll have to show you here, I've added a lip. And what that lip's going to do is it's going to set against the actual uh, piece of wood that's holding these cabinets to the um, camper. Extra stability, right? So uh, we're going to mount this. We're going to screw it in. I'm not going to show you that process, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so 15 by 15 inch square plywood, painted it with spray paint, nothing too fancy, and we're gonna mount it up in there, okay? Finishing up putting in the bolts. As I mentioned, I wasn't going to uh, show you guys how to drill a hole. Hopefully you know how to do that. Uh, measured all these, they're all equal um, down the line. What's funny is on this side, uh, it, none of the washers touch. However, on this side, uh, we have a small overlap, so uh, the door is not put on there square, uh, but my bolts are centered, so more camper, uh, I guess they're just trying to get them, yeah, I can actually see the hinges now are off, but uh, I guess they're just trying to get them pushed out the factory as fast as they can. So uh, some things that I did is uh, I overlapped the washer uh, on both pieces, you see the joint there, so I, I covered both pieces of the joint, uh, figured that'd give me a little bit more strength. Guys, the I'm not worried about the TV sitting on the wall. That That's not a problem. Uh, what I'm worried about is driving down the road. Uh, driving eight hours a day, this um, is jostling, moving around, and it's you know putting all sorts of stressors on this cabinet that I have here. So those are the things that I'm thinking about. Uh, some stuff that you need to consider whenever you're doing this mount, and I've already had the TV on there, it works great. Uh, if you want to get in the cabinets, it's very simple. You just move the TV over here and you can open the cabinet. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Um, whenever you're uh, mounting, remember we're measuring, we're not using levels because your camper may not be level. So just, uh, you know, only do it by measuring. I, <laughs> I think that's a thing, I, I don't know. But anyway. Uh, I'm very lucky on my TV, all of the cords will come out of this side, and I'll show you that whenever I'm mounting the, um, 
or whenever I'm installing the stereo. But next I'll put a, a hole right here and I'll run all my cords through there and it'll be all nice and pretty. And then I'm gonna have uh, some sort of, um, uh, I'm thinking some sort of amp, I haven't decided yet, but uh, it's gonna run into my stereo to blast the speakers on the outside. So uh, we're gonna mount some fans, all kinds of fun stuff in there. Uh, so my cabinet, uh, this, this uh, camper is strictly for fishing in. Me and my, uh, my buddies go fishing in this thing. Uh, not really, it's about a week we're in here. Uh, we use a lot of totes. Uh, we fill up our trucks full of stuff and then we set up most of our stuff outside. So the cabinet space, if you're living in this thing long term, uh, this may not be a very good idea for you because most of this cabinet on this side is gonna be used for electronics. Uh, there's gonna be, we're gonna put our consoles up here. I, I earlier I mentioned putting them on a table but I've decided I'm gonna build some sort of shelf, uh, you know, Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo, uh, PS4, we got them all, uh, all the old ones, uh, we mount them in there, everything's wireless uh, for the controllers so we can sit down on the couch. Another thing I'm considering for airflow is I may drill some holes in these panels and get some air going in there because you know, if you're, uh, get a lot of heat built up. But next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mount this TV I'm going to show you guys that it works, it swings back and forth. Uh, remember, whenever you're mounting it to the uh, wall here, make sure you got clearance up the top. And remember to measure for your mount. So uh, even though I measured it, stuck it in there, and I put the TV on there, it's, it's crooked. And you have to, you know, obviously you get, you get slide adjustment on the bottom. So... It's just the, the nature of the beast. So I'm gonna mount this and then uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Here we sit, TV's mounted, it's level. And uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the TV pulls out so easily. And then the cabinet opens up, plenty of clearance there. Um, that action is replicated on the other side to open that. Uh, now, whenever I started this project, uh, these are all the things that I thought about. How far does the mount need to go out? You know, how far my cabinet swings? Just different things. I didn't just didn't jump in. Um, you know, did a lot of pre-planning. So if you have longer cabinets, if you have, if you're going to do something like this, you know, think about your swing. If you got a, a close mount TV, uh, perhaps it just, you know, actually that wouldn't work. So uh, I was going to say it would slide on and off, but you got no clearance on the ceiling, so it has to be a, an arm type deal here. Uh, but the next video, we're going to do two things. I am going to figure out a way to mount uh, something to this TV that'll connect to here so that whenever I'm traveling, the TV doesn't move. And then two, we're going to pop the hole in there and start running the wires for our new stereo that should be here in a couple days. And, you know, different things. I gotta, I'm gonna change the outlook over here. Uh, Cords will be coming in through that hole for the antenna. Uh, some of these things will come down. I need to fix this mess I did over here, so it'll probably be a, a beautiful picture. And uh, and then we should be good to go. So TV mounted works good. That's me in the reflection. Have a great day.